bro, as much as I love this show and the crazy shit that Yogiri does, they just keep introducing beautiful girls, magnificent design, great assets. And they kill them off. One by one. Everyone just keeps fucking dying around me. And I'm like, please, if you're gonna die, kill somebody. Kill the fucking spirit ghost. That's so fucking annoying. Actually, I'm, I'm probably saying that too soon. She's probably a nice person and she's already dead. Now, there is Lane that is still alive and I'm hoping that she will last a long time, but I'm not really sure. And I believe we left off doing what? The aggressor, some kind of black hole monsters attacking. And here's the way that I view this show. For some reason, they're trying to procure a bunch of sage candidates. Why? So that they can create a sage like Lane. What does Lane do? She fights the aggressors. It's like zombie waves. We're just chilling here. Aggressors show up, attacks us. We got to fend off against it. But a part of me feels like the aggressors aren't actually the bad people. Just because of how evil that, you know, that, what was her name? Sian, I think, you know, the girls that said, hm, my power level is 530,000 or 20,000, right? I just feel like there's a little bit more twist to it. And the Gundam aggressor that we were talking to, he didn't seem like a bad person, right? But overall, this show, I just don't understand. I don't. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Wait, is Euphemia one of the girls from the, from the harem that survived? She's the only one that lives, right? The blue hair girl died, which I was so sad about. But the the white hair oh nice! One sur let's go! Okay, I don't wanna get my hopes up, but okay, let's go. One wife who survived. Because she wants to experience death. This is some Baki shit. There's like a character in Baki. I just watched a clip of it. This dude is literally tied up in a prison and he's and he's like about to undergo like execution because he's never lost before. And he says, I wish to know defeat. So this immortal vampire is interested in Lane because she wants to know defeat. Interesting. The fact that you're watching this video is a title. Right, there was like a little bit of like a zombie apocalypse twist too at the end. <laughs> you're just gonna give up on them? That's cool. They're like, nah, they're already done. Fuck it, let's just go on. <laughs> Alright! Uh, it's the follower. That's right. He's the one that basically just like made everyone into zombies around here while writing his fucking Jeep last episode, right? <laughs> Attendant of Lane the Sage, mayor who runs the city. Okay. She does want Yogiri, but what is the? Why did you make everyone in the city into zombies? Do you think this will fucking smoke out Yogiri? Like that's your logic? <laughs> That's the literal key to the city. It's just a fucking. It's just in that fucking one drawer. That's so comically cliche. <laughs> zombie time's over. As in, they're not gonna stop acting like zombies. Okay. Basically, search them out now, my goons. Gotcha. <laughs> So all the zombies are paused and regular humans have to now try to get Yogiri. Are we just gonna massacre everyone in the city that comes close to us? Like innocent civilians that are just doing this because of this, you know, this threat from Mr. Zombie Man? Like, like innocent old men, children, mothers, daughters. They're just all gonna try to go for Yogiri and Yogiri's gonna be like, die. Barriers are locked. You just have to do it or you die from the zombies. No, actually, there's a second option, a third option or whatever. There's like an, another option, which is just team up with Yogiri. Fuck the zombies. Why are we scared of that? Just say, Yogiri-sama, I'm so sorry. Can we join you? Please protect us. Yogiri is a pretty reasonable guy. I don't think he would just massacre this grandma right there unless she came at us with heat. Oi, <laughs> Masayuki! This plan's not too well thought out. He's not wrong, but I feel like there's a way out of this. It's too easy. Well, some pedestrians are going to be shitty like that, but I bet the grandmas won't. Unless she actually does, then I'll start laughing. The great sage Lane wants you. I forgot we did that too. <laughs> well, they actually want to kill us, so boom, 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 triple kill. Bing. So sometimes the gate opens, sometimes his eyes turn red, and most of the times, or all the time, there's a bell chime after every time his power works. Wait. <laughs> they folded too easily there. Ding, die, and then. <laughs> 
Because they have no idea about Yogiri's powers. Like, all they have to do is just say, Please, Yogiri, I'm on your side. Please protect us. I bet he would. Oh, I know he'll kill a regular person, dude. How many people are going to kill today? Okay, direct confrontation. He just walks up. Yeah, it's a little spooky, huh? Not really, no. He has really no idea, huh? Like, why is he so confident right now? We want to train. <laughs> Bro went to the fucking actual boss that's trying to kill us. Now he's asking for a favor. Can we get a train to get out and move the barrier too, please? <laughs> the balls to just do that? A sacrifice, one of his men. Let's fight. Ooh, spooky skeletons. And they're dead. <laughs> Your spooky monsters are all done. Get the fuck out of my face, dude. It doesn't matter if they're immortal. Well, actually... I don't know if those guys were immortal. They're just called the immortal troops, right? They're clearly not on the same level as Lane. I would just wonder, what will happen if we actually use the power on Lane? But I don't want it to happen. I don't want Lane to die. <laughs> Ryota immediately snitching and saying, you know, I wasn't just throws this dude under the bus. Technically true. Bro was just chilling and then the zombie man just showed up and fucked everything up. <laughs> How did the undead die? Because again, their understanding of his powers are totally wrong. We're continuously reiterating the fact that he can just like end, destroy, cancel, nullify objects too, right? The ice powers. We just fucking canceled that too. We just said last episode, how do you kill an icicle? You don't really. So it's not really like killing. Killing implies that you are ending the life of an organic substance, right? But inorganic things too, like icicles, different inanimate objects, we can kill or basically destroy. I feel like destroy or end is the better verb to kind of like um, describe Yogi's powers. So again, the concept of zombies, undead, whatever, doesn't matter. We just end it. Since they're moving, doesn't that mean they're alive? They're moving? No, he's just making fun of the fucking immortal undead corpse because they were moving as zombies, but you know, it's just ha 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 ha. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. How do you kill something that's it? I love how they show every episode, they keep bringing this as the focus. It's like, what is his powers? What do you, they don't tell us, right? But they show us with action and multiple people question, how do you kill something that's dead? How do you kill an icicle? Again, it's just ending whatever that is, destroying. Maybe that's important. Yeah, and that's why she was testing you. You guys, you guys are fucking lab rats. Wait, the aggressor is still marching towards us though. You know, he just mentioned the instant death ability again, which is something that Sian also mentioned, but due to fucking spoilers and due to fucking annoying kids excited about this anime, I won't say it, but you know. Oh, he's a <laughs> and he's dead. Bro, he just had a transformation into some kind of werewolf and Dandoro was like, no, a Batman? Die. Bye. No, we're not gonna wait. Based. Based. Not anymore. Well, maybe the other guy. The other guy. You know, the suit guy. Ryuka or something. Ryuta. I don't think he'll kill him. He's like, he's like a decent person. Different sages. Multiple sages. So like Lane and Sion are both on the same tier. I thought that for some reason Sion was like uh, a little bit higher up. I thought that basic because like she gave people powers to become sage candidates to then become sages themselves. I thought she was some kind of like god here giving them powers for them to blossom. And Lane happened to be one of those that were actually procured up to the sage level. But interesting. 
I don't think Lane wants us killed, right? She's just interested in instant death. Huh? What? What do you understand? Of course we're guarding against attacks aimed at what? Aggressor. No, it's just the regular humans. They're all mad? What? The key of the city again. Lane was like holding like this up to the barrier. We just saw a scene where she was holding her hands up. So she is directly manipulating. I don't know what this is doing, but she's doing something. Above a sage. Wait, 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 wait. Is this important in the lore here? Hold up. He may be above a sage, a sword master, or mystical beings. So we know that sages are like pretty important, right? They're basically like superheroes here. But then there's a sword master. The fuck is a sword master? Are, are they a different type of group of people that are just equally as strong as a sage? And then there's mythical beings, like mythical monsters. Does this actually matter? Or am I actually reading too deep into it? If this does matter, then the world building just seemed a little bit more hype. Euphemia is absolutely correct. Don't fuck around with them. She's seriously concerned because she drunk her blood. It feels like she became so subservient after she got transformed into a vampire. So even that kind of like manipulates her emotions. And I don't know. Or Yogiri just traumatizes so much. Yeah, I think that's that. There's the aggressor still, you know, approaching the fucking city though. What's going on, man? So many different things are happening. Wait, what's going on? What's going on? What's the explanation? What is the source here? Who's controlling this? I'm a little lost. Bye-bye. This is all just Lane? She did say she was manipulating. I thought she was like enforcing the like the barrier more, but I guess Lane is directly controlling them here. <laughs> Shine. 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 Kill them all. Just, just kill them all. Oh, he's actually traumatized. I'm sorry. I'm having a blast here, but he's actually... He's actually fucking panic attacking. Unintentional carnage, she says. Unintentional, my ass. You are restraining everyone in this fucking barrier, holding it up. Everyone's fighting inside, and you're letting an aggressive go in. Lane, come on now. Kage Bushin no Jutsu? Huh? We, we have two lanes? I'm down for two lanes? Who the fuck is this girl? Do I remember her? Oh, I'm sorry, there's so many different characters in this show, man. The cameraman is just fucking like. God, 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 God bless you, cameraman. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's like a backup insurance. Increase your number? What do you mean? Copy more? Oh, that's a lot of lanes. This is great. Oh, this is really great. Oh, it's the black hole aggressor coming. End it. Just... Shine. Is this CGI or not? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> Therefore, what happens from now on will simply be a natural disaster. It's not my fault, even though I set all this up. Great idea, Lane. When it starts attacking or when she's dead, that's when we go in to swoop, swoop in on Yogiri? Yeah, of course he can. He can end everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Okay. It's gonna work, right? It's fucking teasing him. It's gonna work. No. Lane's coming in now. She, she is the absolute worst sage that's ever existed. She, I don't care if she's testing Yogi's ability right now. A job of a sage is to protect the people here against the aggressors. But not only did she let the aggressor go in, now she's attacking the fucking city!
<laughs> with her clones. But it's fine. She's so hot. She's so hot. Yeah, and then the Sage came in. Somehow blending in with the darkness's bloodlust and attacking. I wonder if the blending in makes it more obscure on trying to detect who it is. Pretty much, she's willing to just like nuke the city. Oh, titties. I think this is titties right now. Look, I see two assets right now. We're gonna get up and go boing. I even got the fucking boing sound, dude. I even got the fucking boing sound, dude. I swear to god, this boing sound, the sound bit, boing, just repeated in every fucking anime. Did she, did she, did she sh blush there? This is not the f usually the trope is guy trips, girl trips. Oh my god, you're on my boobies, hentai, yeah! But she's right now... Rizdo? Progress? I don't really know. What you seeing? <laughs> just a bunch of lanes just fucking dive bombing the city? Yeah, but don't do it. She isn't the target of the automatic counter attack. Do you think Lane understood that and just doing this? Attacking indiscriminately is a good way to kind of bypass them. And it's too fast, so she, he can't even find them. Interesting. We're figuring out a little bit different things that we, that we can kind of make it harder for him to just track down. It's a little bit too late for this public service announcement. What did you say your class is? You remember the last episode? Oh, my class is contractor. Sorry, consultant. <laughs> what are these random ass, normie ass fucking classes? Everyone's like, I'm a magician. I'm a necromancer. I'm a hero. I'm a mayor. <laughs> Imagine just a class called part-time worker. Alright. So we can kind of read where she's going to attack there, okay, based on that. And then we go there and get targeted, then the counter automatic will work. Alright. She does have really great vision. I don't want to know what you got hidden up your sleeve. It's going to be a terrible surprise for me. <laughs> what is this character? What is the point of this character? I don't fucking understand. She's just like... I just don't get it. You know? What is her purpose? Other than to fucking fool around Danora and kind of tell her that she has powers and... I just... People say that she's important, alright? Let her cook. Ain't no way you just said she's a cutie patootie. All right, Mr. Mayor teleported. Very useful. Why are we holding hands? It's so that you can see the vision. It's fine. All right. Now we get targeted. Automatic counter. Wait, Moko Moko Clutch? Moko Moko Clutch though? She actually has fucking just, just barrier magic. And it goes to her. Th that's what was up her sleeve. All right, let's go, Moko Moko. And it survived an attack from Lane, even though it was split. From an aggressor recently? Was it, was it the Gundam aggressor? It's usually worn under clothing, like basically like band-aid wrap, but it can transform into a shell to or suit of armor. Interesting. I also see potential for fan service with this. It's underwear? Exactly, you're thinking, you're thinking. It's from episode 2? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. You know what? Her voice acting is fucking hilarious to me. Wait, you, you hit one and every one of them drops? Because it doesn't matter if you're immortal. You should be able to cancel out. You should be able to destroy this concept of immortality. So I really think that 
we will be able to kill Lane. And that's the thing I don't want to happen, though. Even though she's terrible. Even though she just let this fucking city all die. She let them all get turned into zombies. She let them all get fucking culled. She let the aggressor fucking attack it. Then she decided to fucking bombard on it. it but you know what? It's totally fine. I still don't want her to die. Slightly differ. Oh, no, 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 no! No! Stop! My main body in another dimension is dead? So she already had another backup on top of the splits that we just saw here? Or was that something else before? Anyways, she just got hit with instant death. Wait, but she's still talking, which is good. Cameraman, great angle. Great angle, cameraman. No! Great angle again, cameraman. This is how I'm supposed to save that girl. Let's cook a little bit. Let's, let's, let, let's let her fall a little bit more so that the titties are full on screen. So think about it. To save that girl. The only girl that she was really talking to other than Euphemia, right, is the Sian girl, the Sion girl, right? The girl that gave people powers. So maybe she's like a tragic uh, heroine that needs saving. I don't know why. Maybe the saving implies that she's gotten really corrupt and she's basically kind of losing her sense of, I don't know what's good or bad because she's fucking insane. She's a sociopath. So maybe she's talking about her, but Lane dying somehow does that. The introduction of an immortal vampire can die because of instant death. And they keep saying, is this instant death magic or something else? I'm not really sure, but great, great frame. She sacrifices herself to save that girl. She's actually done. She's actually done. I mean, I started the episode saying they're just gonna kill every fucking hot girls that show up, so I guess I just shouldn't be attached to anybody, huh? This bitch will fucking live, though. She's gonna fucking live. Moku Moku's gonna go to the end of the... F well, maybe, who knows? Maybe she does something crazy and there's like a really emotional moment where she sacrifices herself for Danura. I don't really know, but... Rip Lane. Salute. Teddy bears? Is this that girl, maybe? Oh, it's the girl from the intermission! The half- the halfway scene! Vampire lolly? Lane. Ah, she's that girl then, not Sion. This is her. So as Lane dies... Lolly shows up? Oh, oh, wait! Interesting plot twist! I could fucking know her with the theory when she was dying, but okay, hold up. As Lane dies, the immortal- I don't know, this vampire arises, okay. My scheme, her goal was to die, to save her. Why? True identity. What the fuck was the title of my video? Sir Gregor, if you can put an image of the thumbnail and the title of my video in episode 2, what did I say? Thank God! It's a vampire that's not a lolly. Thank God it's a non lolly vampire at last. And you're telling me this milf lolly, this milf milf vampire dies so that the lolly can get reborn. Lollycons just keep fucking winning. Why can't I just have my milfs, dude? Why can't I have my milfs in peace? Why did you have to get rid of the milf to introduce? Because the fucking lolly's probably gonna sell better. Just a fucking numbers game at the end of the day. Okay, she has no memories. What the fuck are you blushing when you just heard that name? For, for what reason? Wait, for, for what reason did you just do- what? We just talked about how she might kill you. Okay, whatever. We? Nah, she did help out. She, she did help out. He did help out too. <laughs> what game is he playing, dude? He's always played it. And how do they charge it again? I forget. There was a mechanic that introduced how they're able to charge this fucking... What even is this? A fucking Nintendo DS PS Vita? I don't know. He's playing Monster Hunter? <laughs> is it actually Monster Hunter? All right. Giga Chad. Whoa, we have a fuck. Where did this come from? Jeez, this voice acting is going crazy, dude. Let's a ghost! That's what we say in Dark Gathering. Alright, now we have a thick ass fucking military vehicle, dude. 
Oh, change in scenery. Class Samurai. Ooh, this is a crazy... This is a great class. That's what I wish I was, man. Specializes in the art of the blade using a katana. <laughs> That's such a generic description. Okay, Ryoko Ninomiya. Ooh. Man, Samurai Girls. Are oh, they not gonna really introduce them? They really are not gonna introduce them, all right? <laughs> they didn't even need a fucking class. Uh -huh. Hello. Carol S. Dot Lane. Sounds like, um, probably like half Japanese, you know, foreign exchange student, right? Class Ninja. Specializes in covert operations and combat using ninjutsu. All right, that's a pretty cool class. Ninja and samurai class. Okay. Why does she have your smartphone? Yeah, even the way she's talking right now, she straight up sounds like fucking Carol from um. Wait, didn't didn't Carol talk like this, or was it Carol's mom in Tomochan as a girl? Because she was also like a like a foreign exchange student, right? Straight up, one hundred percent. She's she's saying like a, she's speaking Japanese like a gaijin, right? Yeah, I think it was the mom. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to see a Takotakun monitoring tool. We have a monitoring tool? What? America Ninja! We can't return? I thought that this wasn't definitive, but okay. Maybe this she's capping. Monitoring tool. A satellite? The satellite doesn't work in this world? Wait, wait, wait. Alpha Omega first door open. First door is opening. Not the door of Takato, you know, Yogi's fucking door opening, the gate opening when he does the powers, but this probably implies that, like, okay, a new wave of monsters are coming, something super strong, right? This is not like a random mob monster. Okay, all right, next episode's gonna be pretty hype. All right, that's another episode, and honestly, I took a lot of fucking L's up at this episode because I truly thought that Lane would survive. And she did. As a fucking lolly! As I was so happy that finally there was a vampire in this show that's not a fucking lolly, right? Every fucking anime I watch, there's always a vampire. It's a 9,000 year old lolly. And, 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 like, and, and like, you just had to do that to me, huh? You just fucking had to do that. Fuck me, dude. Fuck me. What do we learn from this episode? We learned that, um... Lane is really hot. She does absolutely terrible things, but it's okay because she's really hot. And as she died for some reason, she has another self of her, except the memories were not given to her. And she's fucking blushing. And as soon as she meets Yogiri, I doubt that we're going to kill her. Maybe she's going to join our team because she started blushing. And at the end here, this is some important stuff, right? Carol, the American Ninja. She's pretty cute, but I'm wondering, should I get attached to them or are they going to die? The fact that they're monitoring, you know, Yogiri, that's... She got slain. Lane got slain. Ha ha ha, fuck you. Anyways. <laughs> they got the monitoring device. Apparently it's a satellite, but apparently it doesn't really work here. And then finally, the Alpha Omega first door open. Who really know what that means? My guess is because this world seems to be just like, you know, we become sages and monsters, aggressors come in and monsters, stuff like that. Maybe this is like a special level. A special gate is open and a special type of monster is going to come in. I don't fucking know. We'll find out next episode. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.